If you look at the evolution of the virus in bats and what's out there now, it's very, very strongly leaning towards this could not have been artificially or deliberately manipulated. Are you still confident that it developed naturally? I'm not convinced uh, about that. I think that we should continue to investigate what went on in China until we find out to the best of our ability exactly what happened. Just something else that Dr. Fauci has been all over the place on, uh, but it does seem to be emerging something of a consensus that the Wuhan coronavirus was man-made. Uh, an interesting piece in the Wall Street Journal by Stephen Quay and Richard Muller, they conclude that the scientific evidence points to that the virus was developed in a laboratory. He took a very good look at this, Dr. Muller and his colleague, and he joins us right now. Dr. Muller is from the University of California, Berkeley, and a former senior scientist at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. Sir, welcome to Newsmax. How are you? I'm oh, fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, are you convinced it's only pointing in that direction? Break that down for us, though. How likely, to, in, in, in layman's terms? Um, odds are roughly a billion to one in favor of it being uh, artificially manipulated in the laboratory. A billion to one. Wow. What brought you to that conclusion, sir? Well, there's, so, there's a huge amount of evidence uh, in favor of what we call the laboratory origin. And uh, there, we looked at the evidence in favor of it being natural. And a year ago, there was evidence of it being natural. And this is why so many people came to that conclusion. But that evidence has disintegrated. Uh, the claims made by the Chinese that they had done this, they had measured in the lab, they had found the source, they had been bats in the, uh, in, in, in the wet market. Uh, that's why all the scientists were saying it, it's clearly natural. But now they've withdrawn those. We found there were no bats in the wet market. In fact, the first cases didn't even come from the wet market. So the case for natural has basically evaporated. Now let's take a look at the, uh, at, 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 at the lab manipulation. Um, there's a great deal of evidence, uh, some people call it circumstantial, that uh, Steve Quay and I decided to ignore. We wanted to focus in only on the science. The, the science is that small realm of knowledge in which everybody can agree. And, and so we looked at that. And there are, there are a whole bunch of things in the science. I'm just going to mention two of them. One is there is a, there's a fingerprint in the uh, virus. Uh, people say there's no whistleblower, there's no eyewitness. Oh, there is the virus. It has come back and we can analyze it and we can measure it along its length in great detail. And when we do that, there is something really peculiar that was purposely covered up by the Wuhan laboratory. In their publication, they omitted including this in. The fingerprint is a sequence of, of, of codes uh, that tells the virus how to open up the cell and it inject its material in. And uh, the code is a very peculiar one because it's not found in any of the other uh, beta coronaviruses. The whole class of coronaviruses that 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 hold the the COVID virus, none of them have this the sequence in it. The code happens to be the exact code that is used in the Wuhan laboratory when they're trying to do what's called gain of function. When they want to stick something in, this code, we call it the CGG, CGG, or double SIG code. This double SIG code is in there. It's not found naturally uh -huh. uh, in any of the other coronaviruses, but it is precisely the one that is put in uh, by the Wuhan Institute uh, well, in their previous experiments. Sir, uh, it's so impressive, your knowledge, and that statistic or that those odds a billion to one look i know scientists stick together but uh, i'll say this about dr fauci he seems to uh only like ideas if they're his i feel like he's threatened by new information any sense you heard what he said earlier you know he was so convinced uh that this occurred in nature and we're seeing the emails it was not that cut and dried even behind the scenes just what's your sense about the politics of all this and, and where he was coming from? There's real fear in the virology community that one of their group uh, at Wuhan um, had a terrible accident and killed millions of people. And they fear 
that this will cause a repression of virology research that will have a big impact, that people will be looking over their shoulders and prohibiting them from doing certain kinds of experiments. So among, among the, and there's another fear. Uh, among my virologist friends, they say, if I were to help you look into this, I would be labeled an enemy of China by China and uh, would get no more cooperation with them. They're some of the best virologists in the world. We have work we do along with them, and that will be denied us. So there is a real fear among the scientists that uh, that even getting involved in addressing this issue is, is something that will, will cause harm. Finally, you said um, an accident in the lab. Uh, Gordon Chang, um, expert on China, things actually mentioned a year ago, it's conceivable that it was done deliberately. Do you have any thoughts on that? Oh, I, I would certainly be open to the possibility that they had planned to do so, this something like this deliberately at some time in the future. But the pattern and the way it broke out is, is not the way it would have it would have happened deliberately. If you weren't going to do it deliberately, uh, you would have had it secretly transported to someplace near Fort Detrick, Maryland, <laughs> and have it accidentally released there so everybody would blame Fort Detrick. No, if, if they were going to do it deliberately, they would have done it in a much smarter way. Professor Muller, we thank you very, very much. Uh, we're gonna put a link on our website, newsmax.com, but our regards to uh, uh, Dr. Quay, and thank you very much. A billion to one. Thank you for the clarity, I appreciate it so much. You're welcome. Stinchfield, how are you, Grant? What's going on? Oh, I'm good, Greg. You know, I've been saying for a long time that China is at war with the United States. One of those legs of their war is the fentanyl that they are pushing into America. Joe Biden's not doing anything to stop it. We're gonna break down exactly what China is doing and what Joe Biden could do to save American lives tonight on the program, Greg. F fentanyl, is that in heroin? What is fentanyl? I, I, I know it It's an of. opioid, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a very powerful opioid. They use it in almost every street drug imaginable. And what happens is you get these overdose deaths from it because people just don't understand quite how powerful it is. It's scary stuff. And I'm convinced, Greg, that China's sending here and on purpose with the sole goal of killing Americans. Wow. You know, I saw somebody shooting up uh, not too far from where I live. I've heard about it. I've seen it in the movies, but I never actually saw somebody with the needle in their arm right there on the street. It was something to see. Yeah, Very nasty sad. Nasty stuff. Yeah. Nasty stuff. Grant, sounds great. We'll see you later, and I'll be right back.